I'm recording, what do you mean? You're recording? Yes. Yeah, I got you. B28, guys. Sign Thank you, sit down. B28. The physical environment includes all the living things in an area such as soil, weather, landforms, air, and water. A single organism in an environment is called an individual. One grasshopper in a cell is an individual. Individuals of the same kind of living in the same environment makes up a population. All the grasshoppers in a cell are the grasshoppers in an environment made of a community. A community may include many different populations. Each community interacts with its physical environment. Together, a community and its physical environment makes up an ecosystem. Aiden, can you continue for me? B, Aiden B. Yeah. 
Thank you. The kind and number of plants in an ecosystem determine what animal will live there. Where they are, only a few plants, the population of animals that depend on plants for food are small. Carbos, for example. That's what we have on page papers. Thank you. Y'all see that when he says all the population of organisms live together in an environment made up is a community. Frankie, what is an ecosystem? Thank you. Sayu, what is an individual? These are all your vocabulary words that we did yesterday. Thank you. Skylar, do you know without reading what a population is? A population, do you know what that is? Help us, Stephen. What a population is. Can you read that? Right, in the same environment. Habitat. Dominic, you know what that is? Can you read that for me? Yes. Can somebody tell me the what are the two parts of an ecosystem? Anybody know what are the two parts of the ecosystem? Yes. Population and what? Community, but not population, yes. No, you close. Yes. No. Do you know, Avery? No, a physical environment. Is about to say that down It's the community in a physical environment. That's the two parts of the ecosystem. Y'all know what makes up the community of an organism? No one asked if Brian was here. We asked if Alan was here. It's on page B28. The answer is on B28. What makes up the community of an organism? It's in the second paragraph, guys. Yes. 
know, you're close, not the individual. It is a vocabulary word. Yes, Aiden. Right, the population makes up all different kinds of the ecosystem. Okay, in what way do eco um what in what way do organisms interact with their physical environment? In what way do organisms interact with their physical environment? Y'all see the picture below with all the different animals? How are they interacting in their environment or where they live at? What are they doing? Yes. Right, they're doing what they need to survive. So y'all see with a fox, the red fox, what is he doing? Right, looking for food. And what about the squirrel? Ricardo, what is he doing? Yes, right. He's looking for food so he can survive. Another question, what is a hit? It's our vocabulary word. Yes. It's like the roles of the population. Right. The roles of the population and a habitat. That's our word. Okay, this is a question for us just to think about. Nobody's right or wrong. How do y'all think the organism shown below adapts to the to the environment? How do you think? that the animals adapt to their environment. Yes, Aiden. Like as far as y'all know like bears, when they get cold, where they go? Where they go? Right, somewhere warm. But in that meantime, how do they live? How do they live? How do bears live? Eat a lot and they're hibernating. So it's the same thing as these animals, the fox, the squirrels, the deer. Did anybody ever hunt before, hunt a deer before? None of y'all never hunted before? Y'all know it's deer season, well it was like in January, December. So that's how some humans survive. By hunting deer, they don't eat no other meat. Yes, Tyler? That's just what they do, they hunt deer. To survive. See, we eat food. Come to school, we eat breakfast, we eat lunch. That's how we adapt it. They don't, they just don't. Some of them, I don't know. Some of them just don't. Are you going to shoot it? Right? And then cook it. Then yeah, you, that's a lot. Then you have to also cut all the skin to the part that you're also going to You know, hold on. You want to go home? I got you. Oh, okay. And what way do physical environment vary? If y'all look on page 30, in what way does physical environment vary? Some of the pictures. Huh? Right, so diff different temperatures. What else? Yeah. The soil, the Right. Right, so that's the same thing as um, Saj just said. Um, temperature, what else? The water bottle. The water bottle. Like this one is like super dark and have like grass and So soil, you're saying. So it could be, like it said, the amount of rainfall. So it says water. It supports by holding water. Okay. 
Okay, review question. It says, what is the relationship of a population to a community? What is the relationship of a population to a community? What is population, guys? Frankie, what is population? <laughs> Right, so different populations make up a community. So that's the relationship between population and a community. What is the equal system again? Dominic, what is the equal system? That's the review question, guys. Right. Then it's telling us to go to page 30. And it says, how much warmer is it in June in the South Arizona desert ecosystem than it is in the forest ecosystem of South Vermont? So if we go on page 30, y'all see the two graphs that says South Vermont and Southern Arizona? On page B30, it says, how much warmer in June are the two? So let's go down to June. In South Vermont, Sayu. Where's that line stop at? The top green one. Where's in June after May? Where's that line at? Mm, like about 20. 20. June. So it's about 20. So South. Arizona. Henry, if you go to South Arizona in June, how far is that temperature? Yes. So now, how different is that? 20 from 60, how far is that? How much warmer? What is, 20, what is 60 minus 20, guys? Yes. Right, so that's how warmer it is in the two differences. Right, it's 40 degrees warmer in Arizona than it is in Vermont. So that's it. That's We can close our books and take out our math books. Stop it, Frankie. I mean, Western.